Here's a quick video demonstration of the lag in the appearance menu screen when using a large number of menu items in WordPress 3.6. So here I'm currently running 2012 uh, with zero plugins activated and, uh, and of course on WordPress 3.6. And if we switch over to appearance menus, you see this will load up very quickly in about a second uh, when there's only about six menu items here. Uh, on the other hand, if we switch over to an example menu I have here that has about 100 menu items in it. And you'll see that we're loading and we're loading and we're loading and we're loading and it finally loads in about 6.3 seconds. Um, so during that time the page is completely unresponsive. You can't click, you can't scroll and that's because uh, there's JavaScript processing for about five extra seconds um, when you have that many menu items. Um, and you'll also see that if we try to reorder some menu items here, I drop and then there's a three, four, five second lag before the drop event actually occurs and, and, and the menu item is actually moved. And this creates uh, some usability issues for users that have a large number of menu items. So I did some troubleshooting and I found that this five seconds of extra processing is occurring in the new accessibility JavaScript that was added to the appearance menu screen in WordPress 3.6 and it's specifically this refresh advanced accessibility function. This function runs uh, on page load and also uh, every time that one of the menu items is moved or a new menu item is added and it basically reprocesses every menu item on the page, that's what this item edit.each is, and uh, adds these accessibility buttons that allow you to uh, move the menu items around without having to drag and drop them just by clicking a button. Um, unfortunately, uh, having to process every menu item each time something changes creates a fairly severe bottleneck, and that's why you're waiting five seconds every time you make a change for that processing to finish. Um, so what I've done is created a plugin that replaces this script with a modified version of this and, and that defers this accessibility processing until the user is actually about to interact with a given menu item. So instead of processing them all at once, it processes them one at a time, uh, basically either on hover, on focus, or on touch so that it handles uh, whether you're using a mouse, the keyboard, uh, or a touch screen. Um, and by doing that, that eliminates this bottleneck and makes the interface much more snappy. So if we switch back to uh, this menu for a minute and we'll go over to plugins and we'll activate this faster appearance menus plugin and now we'll switch back to appearance menus and you'll see it loads up right away. Uh, it loads in 1.39 seconds instead of 6 seconds. Um, and we've still got all the functionality. Obviously. Now if we drag and drop, when, as soon as I let this go, uh, it'll actually drop immediately. So 3, 2, 1, drop. And it goes, there's no delay there. I'll show you that in, in real time, move it over. Um, and we've also still got all of the uh, accessibility properties. You can go up one. Uh, and then basically just instead of doing everything at once, it just processes on hover. So we've still got the, the appropriate tooltip here and everything like that. Um, so uh, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this will be a, uh, th this is a pretty you know, rough version of it. So hopefully it'll at least allow people that currently have a large number of menu items to be able to use uh, the appearance menu screen uh, a lot more easily than they can at the moment. Um, I'm, this is kind of rough, so I'm sure there can be improvements. There may be some bugs with it, um, but hopefully we can maybe uh, use this type of processing to, to speed this up for, for users that, that really have this, this many menu items. Uh, so let me know what you think. I'm sure there a lot of improvements can be made, and thanks.